Hi everyone, my name is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor working in the UK. In today's video, I want to talk to you about workplace based assessments. I have noticed that medical students and doctors who have not trained in the UK have this misconception that once you join your postgraduate training program in the UK, you can just pass your exams and after you complete that duration of training, you will become a consultant. But unfortunately, it's not this simple. You have to pass all the exams, you have to go to work, but you'll have to attend the teachings and you will have to complete some workplace based assessments. In this video, I will talk to you about all the important workplace based assessments that you'll have to do during your training program so that you can become a consultant in your desired specialty. Let's start. The first one is a CBD or case based discussion. These are oral interviews which are designed to assess your professional judgment in a clinical case. They assess your performance against a lot of capabilities such as decision making, your diagnosis process, your clinical management, and your ethics, communication skills, lots of other domains, and they look at how you make decisions in related to patient care. They are to assess your understanding and application of medical knowledge, your ethical framework, ability to prioritize, and how you recognize and approach the complexity and uncertainty of a situation. These CBDs can be completed for you by your clinical supervisor, or by doctors who are ST4 or above, or by specialist and associate specialist doctors who are equivalent to doctors who are ST4 or above. Let's talk about an example of a CBD. So this is one of the CBDs which I did with my sub clinical supervisor. This was an old woman who had multiple com comorbidities I saw this lady and she had a lot of medical problems and several weeks later she was discharged from the hospital for end of care life. So what we do is I give a brief summary of the case to my clinical supervisor and then they assess how complex this case was and then they rate me on various domains for example consultation skills clinical management working effectively with teams ethics fitness to practice and there are multiple domains on which the supervisor can rate you on depending on the type of scenario and then they give you the final score or they tell you about the assessment of your performance and it can be below expectations meeting expectations or above the level of expected performance so once you get that you have a chart with your clinical supervisor or the doctor and then you plan for some agreed actions on which you will work on so this is a basic structure of cbd now, even if you are a doctor who is not in a training program, you can get some CBD done and you can attach it in your portfolio so that when you are applying for a training program, it will be a part of your portfolio and people will know that you know about CBDs and it will be an addition and something good in your portfolio. The next one is called Minikex or mini clinical evaluation exercise and if you do this mini kex in a gp setting then you call it cot which is consultation observation tool now a mini kex is an observed real life interaction between you and a patient and it assesses your clinical skills attitudes and behaviors towards the patient and it can again be carried out by a clinical supervisor or doctors who are st4 or above or SAS doctors who have the same level of experience. For example, this can be a case where you are 
having a chat with the patient and then you perform a clinical examination on them and this can be a mini kex if you are in a primary care setting or gp setting then it can be a face-to-face -face consultation with the patient either your clinical supervisor can sit with you and see how you talk to that patient and manage them or you can record that consultation and show it to your clinical supervisor and then they will ask a few questions they will comment on various domains which were really important in, in that consultation and then they will review your performance and then later you will decide on some action plans a similar workplace based assessment which is called audio court can also be done instead of court if you're working in a gp setting and this is a tool to enable assessment of your telephone consultation skills as a lot of general practice consultations are taking place on telephone because of the current COVID-19 pandemic you need to be really confident in your telephone consultation skills you need to pick up the red flags you need to uh, build it up over the patient take a proper history and tell them about the management plans so once you can do that well you can go to a clinical supervisor ask them to get an audio court with you and then they can rate your performance this is one of the audio courts which i did and this was a lady who was having eating disorders anxiety and she was struggling with sleep and this was a case which required lots and lots of domains which needed to be discussed so i had a chat about how she was how her mood was how her eating disorder was what were the real concerns what the what the past medical history was what was um, her social situation like how her illness affected her day-to-day -day activities whether she had ideas of any self-harm or societal plans and then i made a plan for her in terms of maybe giving her some medications for a short period of time talking about sleep hygiene safety netting her and this was the outline of the case and this was the feedback which i got from my clinical supervisor so this is how you do an audio court the next one is called caps this is clinical examination and procedural skills uh, this is something which is done in a general practice setting and you will have to do all these examinations in presence of a doctor who is your clinical supervisor or sd4 above and you have to do prostate rectal uh, female genital examination breast examination male genital examination and the your clinical supervisor will assess your performance will have a chat with you and then you can form some action plans and then you will write reflections on how it went so this is caps the next one is multi-source feedback or msf this is a form of formal feedback which is anonymous and what you do is you send requests to 10 people who you are in contact with at your workplace and then they will give you anonymous feedback about everything in general about you about your work about your behavior and the people who you send these requests to can be your junior doctors, senior doctors, pharmacists, nurses, ward clerks, healthcare assistants. If you're working in an orthopedic ward, they can be physiotherapists, occupational therapists. If you're working in a stroke ward, they can be speech and language therapists and anyone who is working in that clinical setting with you. They will tell you about the things which you did good um, you can see that this is my MSF. So this is the section where people gave me a feedback on what I did good. So the first line is something which I wrote myself and I reviewed my own performance and the other ones are from other people and this is all anonymous. The second part of this MSF is the areas where I need more development and these are the areas where I was not up to the mark. 
So the first line is my own self-evaluation and the other lines are feedbacks from other people which have been sent to me anonymously. The next one is learning event or significant event analysis. This is some kind of event which happened in a clinical setting and it was an event which had the potential to cause actual serious harm to the patients. This can be a misdiagnosis or this can be a failed procedure. And what you do is you write about that and then you write what you actually did to learn from this event and what are your action plans and your reflection on this event. So this is something that you need to do as well as part of the workplace based assessment. The next one is PSQs or patient satisfaction questionnaires. And these are anonymous feedback from patients that you have seen and you will attach these as workplace based assessments in your portfolio. The next one is a QIA, which is quality improvement activity. You need to do one quality improvement activity once in a year. I have made video about performing quality improvement activity on this channel. So have a look at that. And this is an important workplace based assessment. The next one is clinical case reviews. And these are some of the cases that you have seen in a clinical setting and you need to write about that case. You need to write about the domains that you covered and then you need to write your reflection about that case and then a clinical supervisor will have a look at what you wrote down and they will tell you what are the areas where you need to improve on. So these are clinical case reviews. Now, these are some of the reviews that are quite specific to the GP setting only. So you won't find clinical case reviews in a lot of other portfolios. Right. So these are all the workplace based assessments that you need to complete in the first year of GP training, which is ST1. So you need to write 36 clinical case reviews. You need to do four audio courts, mini cases or courts. You need to do four CBDs, one colleague feedback. You need to do one CSR, which is just a review with your clinical supervisor. You need to do one quality improvement activity and you need to do one learning event analysis. And once you have done, you can get past the first year and this will be reviewed in your ARCP, which is like a review of what you did in that year. And once you have completed all of these successfully, you can move on to ST2, which is the next year of GP training. Now, different kind of workplace based assessments can be associated with different specialties. For example, if you're a surgical training, you'll have workplace based assessments regarding your procedural skills. If you are and anesthesia trainee, you'll have some other workplace based assessments according to your specialty. So these are some of the workplace based assessments which are for GP training. But in most of the portfolios, you will have mini CEXs, CBDs, colleague feedbacks and QIAs and learning event analysis courts and audio courts and clinical case reviews are quite specific for GP training portfolio. That was all for this video. I hope that it was useful to you and it gave you an insight about how things work in a training program in the UK. Please support my work by clicking on the like button, sharing this video and subscribing to this channel. If you have any queries, write them out in the comment section and I will get back to you. Also, if you found this video useful, leave a comment for me in the comment section of this video. I will see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.